Hi guys, it's Cara the Bubble Lush, and today is Saturday, June 18th. Here's Hannah. Woo! Yes! Um, so her and I are just having a quiet day here at home, and um, it's her last day as an eight-month-old. So her doctor gave us this, um, it's like a questionnaire. It's their nine-month questionnaire, and it's a bunch of questions about um, her development and nine months. So there's questions in the categories of communication, gross motor, uh, fine motor, personal, social, and then like, you know, some overall questions. So I figured what I would do is um, read these off to you guys. So if you had a child that was about nine months old, you could kind of see where they are, I guess, as far as this questionnaire is concerned. I don't know diagnostically how, um, how they use this, <laughs> I guess, but um, it's a nine month questionnaire and the child is supposed to be nine months, zero days through nine months, 30 days. So Hannah is eight months and 30 days, whatever. All right, so uh, communication. This is question number one. Does your baby make sounds like da, ga, ka, and ba? And for each of these questions, the answer should be yes, sometimes, or not yet. And Hannah makes uh, ma sounds all the time and she also makes ba sounds. So I'm gonna say yes. Number two, if you copy the sounds that your baby make, baby makes, does your baby repeat the same sound back to you? So kind of like a call and answer. Hannah does that all the time, so yes. Does your baby make two similar sounds like baba, dada, or gaga? She says mama, <laughs> so yes. Number four, if you ask your baby to, does he play at least one nursery game, even if you don't show her the activity yourself? Such as bye bye, peekaboo, clap your hands, or so big. And Hannah does peekaboo all the time. And she also can do patty cake, or clap your hands. Uh, number five, does your baby follow simple one word, um, one simple command, excuse me, such as come here, give it to me, or put it back without using gestures? And I would say that Hannah does. Oh! Because if I say drop it, she drops it. <laughs> yes. Um, and then question number six, does your baby say three words such as mama, dada, and baba? And I would say not yet. Um, she does say mama all the time and I think she can say baba, but she doesn't say a third word. So I'll say no. Um, gross motor. So question number one is, if you hold both hands just to balance your baby, does she support her own weight while standing? Yes. Question number two, when sitting on the floor, does your baby sit up straight for several minutes without using his hands for support? So basically, does he sit unattended? Yes. Number three, when you stand your baby next to furniture, such as a crib rail, does she hold on without leaning her chest against the furniture for support? So yes. Um, while holding on to furniture, does your baby bend down to pick up a toy from the floor and then return to standing position? So she holds on and then she bends down, picks something up and comes back up to standing. And Hannah does that. Number five, while holding on to furniture, does your baby lower himself with control to sit down? And Hannah definitely does that. And number six, does your baby walk besides furniture, beside furniture while holding on with only one hand? Yes. Um, so this is fine motor, so that's the end of the gross motor section. Fine motor skills. Does your baby pick up a small toy with only one hand? Yes. Does your baby successfully pick up crumbs or Cheerios by using her thumb and all of her fingers in a raking motion? Um, and it's, and if we, it says if she already picks up crumbs or Cheerios, mark yes for this item. So I would say yes because she already does the pincher grass, which is later. Um, does your baby pick up small toys with the tips of his thumb and finger? So you should see space between the item and the palm. So we pick it up like, like this. Yes, she definitely does that. After one or two tries, did your baby pick up a piece of string with her first finger and thumb? With these two fingers, a piece of string. Yes, she does. And the, the piece of string may be attached to a toy. Whoa, whoa, you're getting too close to the camera. You wanna come sit in my lap? Come here, come here, come here. Oh, oh. Um, question number five. Does your baby pick up a crumb or Cheerio with the tip of his thumb and finger? He may rest his arm or hand on the table while doing it. So basically, is he, is he doing the pincher grasp? 
Yes, she does. Um, number six, does your baby put a small toy down without dropping it and then take her hand off the toy? So just basically, does she, she able to sit things down controlled and then pick it up, pick, take her hand off? And uh, yes, Hannah can do that. So that is the end for fine motor. Excuse me, Missy Magoo. So now it's problem solving. Okay, problem solving. Does your baby pass a toy back and forth from one hand to the other? Yes. Does your baby pick up two small toys, one in each hand, and hold onto them for about a minute? Yes, she does. When holding a toy in her hand, does your baby bang it against another toy on the table? So basically, I think it's, um, so if this was sitting on the table, does she hit it with, with the toy in her hand? Uh, yes, Hannah definitely does that. If it makes noise, she does it. Uh, number four, while holding a toy in each hand, does your baby clap the toys together like patty cake? Yes. Does your baby poke at or try to get a crumb or Cheerio that is inside a clear bottle? So um, we did this by taking one of her puffs and then putting a clear drinking glass upside down over it. And Hannah was trying to like get at the puff still through the clear glass. So yes. And then after watching you hide a toy under a piece of cloth or paper, does your baby find it? And you have to make sure that it's completely hidden. So we took, um, again, we took a small little toy and we covered it completely with a cloth and we watched, we let her watch us do it. And then she was trying to pick the cloth up to get to the toy. So I said, yes. Um, I think these are things that you don't necessarily do with your baby every day. So some of these you need to actually kind of test it out. And again, remember that there's a column marked sometimes. So that's an option if they don't get it hundred percent of the time. Uh, so that's the end of problem solving. Now, personal social. When your baby is on her back, does she put her foot in her mouth? Yes. Does your baby drink water, juice, or formula from a cup while you hold it? Hannah does. Um, she will drink from a cup. She's not very good at swallowing, but she likes to like take a sip and then kind of roll it around her mouth and just like let it all pour out. She thinks that's very fun. Uh, number three, does your baby feed himself a cracker or a cookie? <laughs> yes. Number four, when you hold out your hand and ask for a toy, does your baby offer it to you even if she doesn't let go of it? And if she already does let go of it, then you still mark yes. So basically, if you ask for something like, can I have it? And you hold your hand out, does your baby at least kind of try to give it to you, but she might not let go? Greedy. Greedy baby. And, oh, <laughs> Thank you for kisses. There's not a question about kisses, but if there was, I would say yes. Oh, got my hair. Um, so Hannah does do that. When you dress your baby, does he push his arm through the sleeve once his arm is started in the hole? So does he help dress himself? And she definitely does that. And once she started doing it, she probably did it like a month ago. Um, it was really kind of surprising and it was super helpful. <laughs> we were very glad when she started doing that. Uh, number six, when you hold out your hand and ask for her toy, does your baby let go of it into your hand? I would say sometimes, because sometimes she still retains it. She offers it to you, but she doesn't let go. But um, sometimes she definitely does let go and give it to you, which is very nice. So that's the end of the personal social. And this is your the overall questions. These questions are marked yes or no, and then there is a place to write. So number one, does your baby use both hands and both legs equally well? If no, explain. We don't know what to say um, on this. We don't, we don't know if we're going to say yes or no. Because um, one of the things that we wanted to explain was that she seems to favor her left hand. Which, does that mean she's going to be left-handed? I think it doesn't. I don't think it determines it until she starts writing, I remember someone saying, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, number two, when you help your baby stand, are his feet flat on the surface most of the time? Yes. Do you have concerns that your baby is too quiet or does not make sounds like other babies? Have you heard Hannah make her monkey noise? We might just mark yes. 
<laughs> Does either parent have a family history of childhood deafness or hearing impairment? If yes, explain. No. Uh, do you have concerns about your baby's vision? If yes, explain. I think we might mark yes about this just because we don't have concern about her vision now. She is able to see the tiniest little thing, but we, um, I think just about every single member of our family, both sides, um, has some sort of vision issue. So we do want to talk to her about when we need to go get our eyes checked. Uh, number six, has your baby had any medical problems since in the last several months? If yes, explain. Uh, Hannah had, um, roseola i think it's called so i think we're going to mark that even though the office is aware and other than that i don't think she's had any medical issues i think she's been pretty healthy uh, number seven do you have any concerns about your baby's behavior if yes explain i don't think we do you're just crazy <gasps> monkey noise <laughs> Uh, number eight, does anything about your baby worry you? If yes, explain. No. Oh! <laughs> um, so, there you have it. That is the list of questions for the nine-month questionnaire. Oh, I know that might have been kind of hard to follow through. Oh. And um, so what I'm going to do is if you want to... Hi. If you want to um, have a list... <laughs> Dude, do not pull on my shirt. Ah! If you want to breastfeed, we can breastfeed. Oh. Oh. Oh, show them your monkey face when you do that. Oh. 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 See, call and answer. Uh, anything. Anyway, so on my blog, I am going to I'm going to type all of these questions down so that you can print it out um, and do it with your baby. And um, you will find the blog address below. Go check it out if you haven't already. And yeah, um, Hannah will have a proper nine month update probably Monday night. Um, well, actually probably Monday afternoon because her appointment is at 10 a.m. So I, I will have her weight and height and percentages and, or percentiles, excuse me. And um, I'll know what shots she was given and I'll do a proper nine month update because I know I miss eight months. So. I hope that helps you guys, and again, check out the blog for the complete list of nine-month questions. Bye, guys.